identify the tooth injury. The options are subluxation, intrusion, crown fracture, and lateral luxation. So if you see, uh, you'll be easily to make, uh, make out the tooth that is being injured here, and this is the central incisor, the right central incisor of the patient. And here, you'll be able to see that uh, this tooth is quite in the position and this particular tooth would have been in the same position because here you can see uh, the socket is also there, right? So the space in the socket is there and the tooth has been displaced from the socket, right? You can see the tooth has been palatally, it has been palatally displaced. That is something which we can see clinically here. Now we don't have any other information, we have to go with this particular information here, okay? So yes, the feature which we have to see here is going to be your displacement, right? So the feature which we have to study here is going to be the displacement and actually there are four types of injuries which we generally re uh, read, actually five types, so I'll just name those. So concussion, then subluxation, then the third one is the lateral luxation, then we have the fourth one that is extrusion and last is intrusion. Now here if you see the displacement here, now in case of concussion there is no displacement of the tooth, so no displacement of the tooth will be there in case of concussion. Subluxation also there is no displacement of the tooth, lateral luxation, extrusion and intrusion will show the displacement of the tooth. So there will be presence of displacement in the lateral luxation, extrusion and intrusion. So there will be presence of displacement here. Okay. So uh, we can easily rule out from here the subluxation and the crown fracture. Yes, intrusion and lateral luxation will show the displacement. Now if you see the kind of displacement which is being shown here, if you just see the complete length of the tooth here, so it simulates this particular tooth. So it doesn't look like quite intruded. Intrusion means simply going into the or ex um, basically the displacement of the tooth within the socket, okay, in the same axis. So that is not there but the axis has been changed and the tooth has been displaced laterally, okay, and that's why it is called as the lateral luxation. So answer to this question is going to be your fourth that is your lateral luxation. But at the same time I will be just giving you some more uh, details of the different kinds of injuries, the luxation injuries. So if we just talk about the mobility, there is something we call the mobility whether the tooth is mobile or not. So in case of concussion there is no mobility. And in case of your lateral luxation also, there is no mobility. In case of intrusion also, there is no mobility. But in case of extrusion, mobility may be present. And in case of subluxation also, mobility is present, definitely, right? Then uh, if we just uh, see another feature here, that is the pain on percussion. There is something called pain on percussion. So, if we see the case of concussion, the pain on percussion is present. If we see the subluxation, yes, it is present. Later luxation, there will be presence of the pain on percussion, but yes, there will be high pitched metallic sound that would be simulating the ankylotic tooth. Okay, so it would look like ankylotic tooth. So, there will be high pitched metallic sound in case of lateral luxation. Then coming to the extrusion, yes, extrusion will be pain or percussion can be present and can be absent also. So it can be present or absent in this case, that is the pain on percussion can be absent in case of extrusion, right. Then intrusion also, it is present and it is again high pitched metallic sound on percussion which is seen in case of intrusion also. So it is present and there will be high pitch percussion sound. So these are certain very important information about the different kinds of injuries. And if we just uh, talk about the treatment, so the concussion is the kind of injury that just do not need 
any treatment, just symptomatic treatment like ibuprofen or the NSAIDs are enough for this kind of patients. But in case of subluxation, lateral luxation and extrusion, you have to splint the tooth for two weeks and intrusion will require splinting the tooth for almost four weeks. So that is the basic difference here. So if we quickly go through the key concept here, so this is nothing but your lateral luxation because the tooth has been displaced laterally and there is no information about the question where it is discussing the different kind of clinical features. So yes, answer is very clear. That is option four is the correct answer.